Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday. Coming at you with Jaspie's 12 box Phenom Baseball Mixer. Featuring that Tatis Jr. one of one that we're giving away. There it is. There's a better look at it right there. That's pretty nice. So at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everybody's names. The name on top gets that Tatis. So if you end up getting randomized, a quote-unquote bad team or just not happy with the way the break went, just, just think. You can still chase that. There are the boxes involved here. There are the people involved here. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. There are the teams right here. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. Part eight, four and a four, eight times. Two, three, four. And eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Asa down to Chris Freeze. Eight times, four and a four, eight times four teams. Two. And eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Detroit Tigers down to my Dodgers. Now trades are allowed. Trade at your own risk, but trades are allowed. Asa with the Tigers, Courtney, you got the Braves, Kyle with the Cardinals, Ryan Peebles with the Rockies, Tyler Brenner with the Phillies, Brandon with the Nats, Anthony with the Twins, Sean with the Marlins, Jimmy Black, you got the White Sox, Matthew, nice, White Sox uh, for Jimmy, Red Sox for Matthew, Chris Parent with the Indians, Brandon with the Angels, Amber with the Diamondbacks, Chris with the O's, Kevin with the M's, David with the Cubbies, Darren with the Pirates, Gabe with the Royals, Courtney with the Blue Jays, Travis with the Reds, Brandon with the Rangers, Thomas R with the Giants, Jeremy with the Yankees, Rick with the Mets, Brew Crew for Jacob, Brandon, Padres, A's, Rays, John with the Astros, and Chris Rees. You got my Dodgers right there. So let's put this all on one page here. Let's sort by team name. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit and allow uh, for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, We'll see if there's any trades, and then the break. Stick around. All right. Hey, welcome back, folks. There was a trade. Look at that. There was a deal between Chris and Smokey Brandon. So it was a trade for the Cleveland Indians and the A's. So Chris is now in the A's slot here. So we'll put T next to there so you know that there was a trade. If you're following along at home, you can see who draws first blood in this trade right here. Maybe who wins the trade. Indians, A's. There you go. So trade window is now closed. So let's print and let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for joining. Remember, we're giving away this at the end, one of one. So we're gonna end the break with a train whistle. Someone's gonna get a train whistle here. Might be worth, I mean, one of one? Might not have to grade it, but pretty nice. He's been playing some excellent baseball. We'll be watching him. He's, uh, he's going to be playing against my Dodgers a little bit later tonight, so we'll keep an eye on his progress. I want him to do well. Hashtag good for the hobby, but I want the Padres to lose. Can we, can we both root for that? All right, so on Wednesday the 12th, 12 box Phenom Baseball Mixer. There you go. Final printout. Thanks everyone for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. All right, what are we gonna start with here? Should we just get this? This is right in front of me here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go with 2020 Donruss baseball. Veteran Commons will not ship in this. Obviously, rookies, inserts, parallels, they all will. Got Giants, Astros on in the background. Giants up, one nothing. Top of the fifth. They're up to bat right now. Zach Greinke on the mound facing uh, for the Giants. Derek Rodriguez. I think that's Yvonne Rodriguez. Hudges kid. Is on the other side. Is with the Giants. The Battle of the Orange Teams. Let's 
see what else is going on. Um, ripping open these packs. What's going on in baseball here? Yeah, I know, Brian People, Sorry about that. I stick you with the Rockies. I want the Padres to lose. But I do want Fernando Tatis Jr. to just go 5-for-5 five five with five home runs and have the Dodgers win 6-5. That's good for the hashtag good for the hobby and then hashtag good for my my Dodgers, my fandom. All right. I think we got some early games that were finished off today. It's a final in Anaheim. A's beat the Angels 8 to 4. It's a final in Colorado. Diamondbacks pounding the Rockies 13 to 7. And the White Sox edged out the Tigers in Detroit 7 to 5. Dylan Cease with the win. Dylan Cease is 3 and 1. Colome with 5 saves. Wow. Games in progress. Cubs up 5-1 on the Indians in the bottom of the 7th. In Cleveland. Marlins up 11. Marlins about to win their 8th game. Marlins are up 11-4 on the Blue Jays in Buffalo, the Buffalo Bluebirds. Royals are in Cincinnati. They're up 4 nothing. It's the bottom of the 5th. Orioles and Phillies are tied at threes in the top of the fifth in Philadelphia. In New York, Yankees and Braves both tied at two, both 11-game winners right here. Nationals are in New York playing the Mets. Mets are up 5-3. And the uh, Twins are up 8 nothing in the top of the fifth, and they have bases loaded with one out. It's not, not a good day at the office for whoever the Milwaukee pitching staff is. We're watching the Astros game right now, the Giants-Astros. Rays shutting out the Red Sox, 6-0 in the top of the fourth. And those are your baseball updates for Wednesday, August 12th, 2020. At around, what time is it? 5.40, West Coast time. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. We got Jake Rogers. Jake, 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 Jake. 34 out of 99. Tigers. That'll be for Asa, who won this in a hanger pack rig. Wow, Amber's reporting Juan Soto with a 466 foot home run. Ooh. Yeah, he's pretty good. There's a, are these two players on here? All right, we'll have to figure that out. We'll figure that out in a randomizer later. Ramon Laureano had an amazing home run robbing catch. Is that what they call him? Kettle Marte, the pike? It's Daryl Strawberry. Engine Rue for the Blue Jays. There's El Mago, Javier Baez. Luis Robert. He's been playing some good baseball, too. Jimmy with the White Sox. Had a bases loaded, bases clearing double today. It was a great, it was a fantastic hit. He's going to be good for a long time. Matt Chapman. And keeping it 100, Roger Clemens to 100. I like, the, I like these nickname cards here. There's Aristides Aquino. Elite Series, Mike Trout hit a solo shot today. Keith Hernandez to 162. 
Kyle Weaver, what's up? I'm not sure how Donris does in the secondary market, to be honest with you, Jed. I'm sure if it's Luis Robert, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, any of the big names are going to sell well anywhere. But I would, I mean, what we got to we got to compare it to something is going to sell better than Topps Chrome Baseball, maybe not. But if you compare it to say, I mean, I think Donner's Optic would sell a little bit better. But I think for whatever for the for this price point, I think it does okay on the secondary market. But I mean, is it going to sell as well as like NT? No. But for what it is, I think it's pretty solid. The Mike Trout fire emoji is to 75 for the, for the Angels. And Kyle Weaver, we are doing great. We've been pretty busy. The crew keeping us busy, which is good. Got a lot going on here. Kepler to 50. Colorado. Danny Mendick for dropping those two cards there. Max Kepler. And a Larry Walker relic. There you go. Colorado Rockies. That's going to go to Brian Peoples. It's Gavin Lux Blue and a Dustin May autograph. There you go, 10 out of 49, little Dodger Joe Mojo. Chris Freeze with the Dodgers, got randomized the Dodgers, won the Dodgers in a, uh, in a uh, hanger box break. There you go, congrats. He's been looking pretty good, he's got some nasty stuff. There's Tatis Jr. right here to 9.99. Judge having a good season, right? Is he still hitting well? All right, let's roll into some uh, Prism draft picks right here. Checklist.com. This is twenty I'm a big fan of this box design because over the years, the, this will start, it will drop inside the box and then these boxes will slide around. All right, next box. Hosey, my Dodgers, Brandon Malone, not numbered, Shea, not numbered, and Bo Phillip. 
to 75. Hyper parallel. Bo Philip. Where does Bo Philip go? He sounds like a royal to me. Bo Philip is an Atlanta Brave. Wrong. That goes to Courtney. Well, now that I think about it, it does kind of sound kind of familiar. All right. We'll try with the next one. Nice Bobby Wood Jr. Green numbered? I don't think these colors are numbered. And we got Sammy Siani. He sounds like a Texas Ranger. He is a pirate. Sean Jaspi gets it in the background. Pittsburgh, that's going to be for Darren Redding with the Buckos. 21 out of 75. <laughs> I saw Williamson down here. I just like, my mind was triggered to be like, oh, that, oh no, it's Brandon Williamson. Anthony Volt for the uh, Yankees. That's going to be 10 out of 50, 10 out of 30. And Team USA Baseball edition of Shea Langliers, 27 out of 30. I think that's a Brave or a Rocky. Is it Braves? Shea Langliers is a Brave, an Atlanta Brave. I should have went with my first instinct. Courtney Bishop. The Bravos. Mojo look right there. And there's Isaiah Campbell to 99. He sounds like a cardinal to me. Isaiah Campbell is a mariner, not even close. Seattle, that'll be for Kevin. Dan W., happy Wednesday to you, too. Josh Young is a Tiger, we know that. And we got Adley Rushman, 8 out of 25. Nice crusade, see the blue camo pattern in the background. Nice one for Baltimore, that's going to go to Chris Free. that I know. J.J. Goss, I don't. I want to say Marlins, but I'm thinking, I think I'm of, I'm thinking of J.J. Blade. J.J. Goss. What do you, what, what are you, what are you saying? Twins or Rangers is Sean's guess. It is Rays. Tampa Bay Rays. Wait, not even geographically close. These are tough sometimes. Tampa Bay Rays, uh, Rays, Brandon with Tampa Bay. I don't know, it'll be, there's J.J. Blade right there for the month. It'll be a number of years before, a few years or so before we see these youngsters pan out to what they potentially could be. Let's see. Uh, let's go 2019 Mega Box, Donruss Baseball Mega Box. We want to get some of these heavier products out of, the, out of the way first. We'll do that Series 1 after this, or Series 2 after this. I want to get those out of the way first, and then we'll start getting into some of the some of the other stuff. Uh, that's not off topic, Jet. This is a baseball break. It's right on topic. Jet, Jet saying, I wish Ichiro Suzuki played his entire career in the MLB so he can have over 4,000 hits in Major League Baseball. He, he would have, too. I think he would have. There's the old story of uh, when Ichiro first came to the United States. Was it Lou Pinella, maybe, was the coach of the Mariners at the time? And he first saw, you know, this was like the 90s, right? So this is, this it might as well be the Dark Ages. There was no, like, can't, like, look up Ichiro highlights on YouTube. 
You know what I mean? You're, just, you're not looking up, you know, fan graphs breaking down Ichiro's swing and stuff like that. It didn't even exist back then. So whatever their advanced, their scouts had and everything, international scouts, got him, drafted him, brought him here. And Lou Pinnell saw him for the first time, and he was, Ichiro was doing batting practice. And, like, Ichiro's spraying beautiful line drives from left to center to right, right? And he's just working on his hits, doing his thing. And then Lou Pinella kind of goes, does he do anything else? You know? Like, you know, he's a good player, but it's like, uh, uh, does he do anything else? And then someone mentioned, his translator mentioned that to Ichiro, and Ichiro's like, oh, okay, I'll hit home runs. So then he proceeds to just hit dingers in batting practice. And, uh... And Lou Pinnell is like, all right, never mind. Well, he's good. Lock him into, <laughs> lock him into any point in the lineup. He'll be great. The thing is, the Jet, Jet's like, yeah, he doesn't hit for homers, but he always gets. The thing is, he can hit for homers. That's the whole point of the story. He can hit whatever he wants to. That's the crazy part. That's how. That's how incredible of a hitter he is. He can hit anything. Have you seen his training that I've not seen his throwing training. He sets up a baseball bat on like the on the head of the bat at like home plate. Uh huh. Like the short outfield and hangs up one by one. Wow. Yeah. See, the precision of Ichiro, both at the plate and in the field, is pretty is pretty incredible. Uh, Tyler, you remember the story when I pulled you the Ichiro helmet? Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite Ichiro stories. I, th I think it just highlights just how how incredible of of a, of a hitter he is, of just a pure hitter. here we've got Tuki Toussaint signature series that pink parallel fireworks background Atlanta Courtney are right, Tyler Brown are you saying Ichiro deserves to be in the hall absolutely I think he's, I think he's a first ballot hall of famer probably 90% of the vote I think that's a no-brainer. All right, let's get this uh, 2020 Series 2 out of the way. Got all sorts of boxes still left. Good luck, everybody. So we're looking for one autograph and two relic cards in, an, in this big jumbo box here. Oh, and then there we have the, the, the silver packs as well. Silver packs, silver packs. No, uh, vet commons don't ship, Brandon. As stated in the item description. Financial interest on uh, on the Cubs today, on the Cubs' success today. I need them to win. I got, I got my first two games earlier today. Cubs are hanging on, five-two. Top of the eighth. They're, they're hitting. Now, I don't do parlays. Parlay, parlays. I've. Uh, all these are for suckers. That's what that's what that's what the people at the books tell me. You know, they're for suckers. I don't do it.
but I'm on the Cubs. Who else am I on? I had a I had the White Sox and Oakland A's earlier today. What happened to your What happened to your parlay yesterday, Brandon? I feel like if you won it, you you would have been crowing about it. You didn't say nothing, so I'm assuming you, that didn't happen. Trying again today. Are all bets off for college football? That that doesn't surprise me. You know, I th I think they I think they would do that because they don't know what like the schedule is going to be. I guess it's going to. Oh, nice humble brag there, Smokey Brandon. Most of the time, you gotta you gotta you gotta talk units, not actual dollar amounts. Amber says, first time uh, sports gambling. Did a parlay, full game schedule. Lost it by about two feet. Ball went foul. Would have been homer. Would have been 15,000 payout. Those are the worst. Yeah, there's. I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to handle that kind of bad beat. I don't know if I would. There's Eugenio Suarez. That's that's the uh, relic in the box here. Maybe two relics in the box. It's going to go to the Reds. Travis with the red legs. It's AJ Pollock. Usually after that foil card will be the inserts. And if I think if it's turned around, that's the variation. So we haven't seen a variation just yet. Obviously all rookie cards are going to... Hey, actually... I think he's on the Giants now. I thought I, I thought I saw him on the. No, he's still a Ranger. That's his brother. Word. Huh. His brother Tyler is a is the cat is a catcher for the Giants. Their father, Steve, served in the Santa Monica Police Department. That's that's where I live. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brian. Luis Robert. Nice, Luis Robert. And we've got Kyle Tucker for the Strohs, John McCall, and Luis Robert. Rookie card going to Jimmy Black. Got randomized the White Sox. We got a box of uh, finest flashback back there. Luis Robert out of there would be nice too. And there's your auto, J.D. Martinez. That's going to go to Matt Seuss and the Boston Red Sox. Nice. That 1985 design on-card auto looks pretty sharp. Next little stack of this jumbo. I think we should be expecting one more relic. Let's find out. Maybe that 
one down there. And Jonathan Daza, that must be a variation. I'm glad that they flipped them around this year. That goes to the Rockies, Ryan Peoples. There you go, look at him hustling. You know, helmet flying back. He's got his his show chain, right? Is that a I don't know what that is. But he's he's got that flying. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. It's a nice shot, Matt Beatty. There you go. There's the secondary market gem. Who knows? What if, what if he is he even playing right now? Rocky scored seven runs. Is Daza in the mix? I don't think he is. There he is again right there. I mean, I guess maybe out of out of position if you have to make a catch like that. Kevin Gossman has a lot more strikeouts than you think than you would think. Look at that, the old New York baseball giants, nineteen fifties. And there's the second relic right down here. Freddie Freeman in the 2007 draft. Manufactured relic in there. Going to the Braves. Courtney. No, oh, no. We're not feeling good about Jonathan Daza. Oh, nice Robert right here at the end. Uh, 26 years old and a career average of 206. All right. You never know. Could be a late bloomer, Brian Peoples. All right, another Luis Robert for Jimmy Black. All right, let's do these special packs here. Votto, Abraham Toro, Giancarlo, Kettle Marte. We've got only two cards in here. Decades best. 
O's and Willie McCovey in the 70s. Those are inserts, they'll ship. And we got Jorge Soler, Tony Gwynn, Nick Solak, and Shogo Akiyama, a couple rookies right there as well. Home run cards we don't need. We'll save the Soler and the Gwyn right over there. A couple rookies, Shogo Akiyama for the Reds, Travis, Nick Solak for the Rangers. That will be Brandon Thorpe. All right, let's go uh, back in time a little bit to 2013. So we've done a number of these boxes as like sort of mini breaks or filler breaks. On jazbeescasebreaks.com, always look out for those. The mini breaks or filler breaks will help fill up a, a more expensive or larger break. But in the course of doing those, we've seen some silver Mike Trouts in here that sell for a decent amount, among others. So there could be some surprises in this. I think Yelich might be a rookie in this particular year, if I'm not mistaken, as a Marlin. Cubs up 6-2 now. Still have runners on second and third with two outs. And the Twins have made it 12-0 in Milwaukee. Oh, rough day at the office for the Brewers. top here. It's going to be Colin McHugh. 370 out of 500 for Colorado. Rookie. There you go, Brian Peoples. Boom. Colin, old Colin McHugh. Is he still doing something in the league? He's somewhere, right? I think he's in to be the Astros, maybe? If I know how to spell his name. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's... No, he's with the Red Sox. He was with the Astros. He's with the Red Sox now. Sporting a 4-5... and five. No, that was last year. Has not made an appearance this year. Is he hurt? His status, he's on the restricted list. Did he opt out, maybe? Got two Lewitsky, silver. It's better. Rockies. And we've got Garrett Cole, 39 out of 500. Wow. Rookie auto for the Pirates. That's Darren Redding, who got randomized the Pirates with a spot he won in a hanger box break. That's not bad. It's pretty good. I've heard of him. Let's play two. Ernie Banks. There's George Brett. Statisticians. Jordan Zimmerman. There's regular Mike Trout. And we got Nick Morand. Mor Morandi? Sean Jasper, are you still over there? Yeah. Uh, tell us your favorite Nick Morandi story. 
Yeah, or Moran. Uh, Tell us your favorite story about this lefty who debuted with the Angels during the 2012 season, seeing his first big league action, a 2-1 loss at Seattle. And just three days later, he was back on the hill in Oakland and capped off the team's 7-1 win by striking all three batters he faced on a combined 15 pitches. Is, is that your favorite story? <laughs> that goes to Brandon and the Angels. That was a great moment in Sean's life. Yeah, Darren, Darren was thinking, man, the Pirates aren't going to have any good hits. But then we just went back in time, and boom, Garrett Cole. How, does, how well does Garrett Cole sell? I wonder if he sells better now that he's on the Yankees. I wonder if people are snapping up his rookie autos. It might be worth a look on the secondary market. There's Cano. Going back in time. We've got Drew Stubbs for the Cleveland Baseball Club. That's Brandon, who draws first blood in the trade. Blood. 22 out of 25. No, that's just what it says on the Panini card because they don't have the license. It says Cleveland Baseball Club on here. What am I supposed to say? There you go. Drew Stubbs. I wonder if probably no relation to everyone remember Franklin Stubbs? He's definitely well, I don't know. It's come on, Joe, easy now. This is in the nineteen forties. But old Franklin Stubbs, I think, was with the Dodgers for a long time. Yeah, he spent ten years, six of his ten years in Major League Baseball was with Dodgers. Old Franklin Stubbs. Did he win a chip? I think he did. He was with that eighty eight team. Good, good glove guy. Good glove guy, Franklin Stubbs. You guys remember Franklin Stubbs? What's Franklin Stubbs doing now? He's still with us, 59 years old. He's not that old. Doing some coaching. With the Braves in 97, left the Braves organization in 2009, hitting coach for the Inland Empire 66ers of San Bernardino with the Dodgers. Now he's double A Chattanooga, 2011-12. Stayed with the... Dodgers affiliate, AAA affiliate 2015, let go after the 2015 season. In 2016, he became the, the hitting coach for the Missoula Osprey, the rookie league affiliate for the Diamondbacks. Year leader is promoted hitting coach of the Hillsborough Hops in the Snakes' Class A affiliate. That's all That's all it says for old Franklin Stubbs. That was, I probably spent one minute longer than I should have on Franklin Stubbs, but hey, that's your Franklin Stubbs news of the day. If you were wondering about Franklin Stubbs. Let's see a show of hands. How many of you remember Franklin Stubbs? All right, let's get another bigger box out of the way, but this is more current. This is 2020 Panini Prism Baseball. And then we'll start getting into some of the, uh, some of the little more exciting stuff here. Select is nice. We've got some absolute hiding back there, too. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, no. Sean Jaspi, Franklin Stubbs not moving the needle in the chat. Um, no, I don't know if he has a barbecue place. Yankees up 6-2 now in New York. Baltimore up 5-3. Miami still up 11-8 on the Blue Jays. Blue Jays threatening, though. They're got men on second and third. Yes, Franklin Stubbs was on that annoying 1988 Dodger squad, Brian Peoples. That is that is true. I think he got regular starts, too. Out of 149, Alex Bregman, Joey Votto. Some 
some Jordan Alvarez, so a couple Astros there for John McCall. Yeah, that 88 Dodgers team was pretty annoying. They had no business winning the World Series against them. They, I, don't, I, I couldn't believe they beat the Mets. They weren't supposed to beat the Mets in 88. Why is, why is Mike Sosha hitting home runs? There's Corey Seager, line green to 125 for the Dodgers. Why is Franklin Stubbs getting regular innings? on that team. This guy's raking Kyle Lewis. Scott Kingery. The Blues, I guess, are not numbered. Patrick Sandoval reveals a Trent Grisham. Trent Grisham rookie autograph for the Friars. That's going to go to Brandon Tharp for the San Diego Padres. San Diego. San Diego. The name has been lost in translation, but you know the rest. Yeah, I mean, Hershiser pretty much carried that team. So did Kirk Gibson, except I mean, he just bad knees, bad old bad knees Gibson. Danny Santana, 37 out of 50. I guess he had a decent bullpen. But no, they, they were they were light on hitting. This guy's been hitting well. This guy, we'll, we're going to be watching him soon. And there's Gary Sanchez, catcher for the Bronx Bombers. I know, Ben. Well, we are gonna we are guaranteed a train whistle here because we're giving away this one of one at the end of the break. So we're guaranteed a train whistle. But yeah, hopefully we can find one in some of, in one of these boxes. Hershiser does Oral Hershiser does color commentary for the Dodgers TV broadcast, along with Joe Davis, who does the play by play. Some of you may know him. Um, from college football. I think Joe Davis is some college football. And some Fox national games every once in a while. There's Josh Bell of the 75. Bobby Bradley. You're like, Joe, why did you pull out that Tony Gonsolin rookie card? Because he's making a start tonight, Chris Freeze. And he, if he throws a no-hitter against the Padres tonight... No hitting the likes of Machado and Grisham and Tatis Jr. and Will Myers, so on and so forth. Then that Tony Gonsolin card will be worth a lot. Maybe from a dollar to five dollars. Which is a pretty big increase if you think about it, percentage wise. Eduardo Escobar to 99 and 13 out of 99. David Guillon for the Phillies. That's going to be for Tyler Brenner with the Fighting Phils. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder what the odds are. Excuse me, my throat's drying up a little bit. I wonder what the odds are uh, on the Dodgers, Tony Gonsolin, throwing a no hitter. Is anyone. Is any book giving out those odds? Does he look kind of creepy here? Yeah. He's got some good show hair, though. That's a good show stash. He looks like a... like a. Does he look like Frank Zappa? He's got a Frank Zappa. Like, he kind of looks like a musketeer. Right? Looks like a, like a musketeer. Like in Disney's Three Musketeers with uh, Oliver Platt, Charlie Sheen, and is Kiefer Sutherland in it? Donald Sutherland? No, that's their dad. Kiefer Sutherland? You guys remember that? Disney's Three Musketeers with Tim Curry as Cardinal Richelieu. Tim Curry as Cardinal Richelieu was really good. Now, Jeremy Port sees a little Raleigh in him, in Tony Gonsolin. Amber thinks that Tony Gonsolin looks like a guy who would may, be maybe driving a white van, an unmarked white van with 
no windows, like the one that parks out in front of our street. And Van scares us. I don't know. I'm sure they're nice people. But. Tony Gonsolin, big fan of cats. But I think he may be rooming with maybe roommates with Ross Stripling who may be allergic to cats. So this cat may be with his, with his parents. There's your Tony Gonsolin news, ladies and gentlemen. You get all the relevant news here at Jaspies. You get your Franklin Stubbs update. You get your Tony Gonsolin cat talk. Cats could be in the van. All right, let's see what we got here. Jimmy Fox. Jimmy Fox. Remember the movie A League of Their Own? Jimmy Dugan is based off of Jimmy Fox. There you go. More trivia. Fact check it. It's true. I, I think it's true. I think I heard it on the commentary or something like that. DVD commentary. Here's Chris Bryant. And his buddy Anthony Rizzo, team tandem materials for the Cubbies. Cubs up 6-2, going to the top of the ninth. Or one out of the top of the ninth. We got Jake, 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 Jake Rogers, triple relic and autograph to 140. Jake, Jake, Jake. Yo, Jake, Jake, Jake. That's uh, for Asa and the Tigers. Here's my guy, Dustin May. Nice. I love these autographs right on the, uh, the piece of the baseball there. 77 out of 99. I think it's a manufactured baseball, but I think it's a sweet idea. That goes to my Dodgers, Chris Freeze. And there's old Pete, 99. Right, another box right here. We're almost there, folks. We're getting there. Victor Robles to 199. Tools of the trade. Evan White, nice gold. Four out of ten. Look at that. Look at the the piece of the Mariners logo right down there. All sorts of cool colors and texture in this. It's a good looking one for Kevin with the Mariners. Got randomized the Mariners after winning a spot in a hanger box break. Pretty sweet. There's Hunter Green. There you go. Two out of 49. Quad relic and autograph for the Red Legs. He's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, that's Travis and the Reds. We got Sam Hilliard. 27 out of 75. Autograph. Rookie auto for... Brian Peoples and the Rockies, one of our mutual rivals. Brian is a Padres fan and I'm a Dodgers fan and I'm both nervous about the Rockies playing some good baseball. All right, what about some select baseball from 2020? There we go. I think we're going to close out with that uh, finest flashback. Close, close out with that. Any other score updates? Brewers got, got two back. Miami still up 11-8. Cubs still up 6-2. Kansas City up 5-4, Baltimore up 5-3 on the Phillies, Mets up 5-4 on the Nationals, tied at ones here, Giants, Astros, Minnesota up 12-2, Tampa Bay still shutting out the Red Sox 8-0, and Mariners up 3-0 early on the Rangers, just the top of the second inning. Is there another Soto home run? Soto has two today? What is Soto's problem? 
Like, what is his weakness in his game? Like, he can hit for power. He can just hit, right? He's like, is, is he a pretty, pretty much a five toolsy kind of player? He's yeah, he's got speed. Like, what is? Doesn't have one, right? Brandon's like, doesn't have one. He has no. Like, what could he improve? Like, Mike Trout says. Mike Trout says every year he works on. Apparently, Mike Trout has weaknesses too. Mike Trout says he works on something, you know. <laughs> but for Mike Trout, he'll be like, he'll be like, uh, high and inside fastballs. Like that would be like the sort of bluish area on a heat chart, <laughs> and, and he'll be like, I'll just work on that the entire off season. And then he'll just crush that the next year. There he is. There's Mike Trout. You heard me talking about him. Juan Soto has any like if you're a coach, what do you say to like what do you say to Juan Soto like for the off season? You're like here in the off season, we want you to work on this. Twenty out of twenty five, Jose Altuve cracked ice, two color relic, and the Astros just hit a home run. Martin Maldonado hitting dingers. John McCall with the Astros getting the cracked ice. Of that cheater. Ramon Laureano to 149. And Jesus Lazardo relic. Oakland A's. Chris Parent on the board with the A's now from that trade. Still have a few boxes to go, Chris. 238 out of 250. Cole Hamels. We got Steven Strasburg Zebra, which I think are pretty popular in these uh, select sets. Nationals, Brandon Tharp. I think that's shorter printed some of the other ones, right? Justin Verlander, Clayton Kershaw, three out of 10. Select stars for the Dodgers. Chris Freeze. Nice low number there. Willie Castro. Rookie Kyle Lewis. He's been hitting the ball real well. That goes to Kevin. Along with any others I may have missed while I was going through this break, but they'll, they'll ship. We got Jordan Alvarez, Jersey and Auto. Nice. Big prospect for the Strohs. There you go, John. Eduardo Escobar to 50. And we got a Logan Allen, 33 out of 99, jersey and autograph for the Indians. Brandon Tharp. Sheldon Nusi, Trevor Bauer. Remember, remember that time when Trevor Bauer, like, gave up like this hit or something like that, and he f fired the ball into center field. He was just so angry, and then he was traded a few days later. He was pretty pissed. Charlie Blackman, red to one ninety nine. Charlie Blackman gonna win the batting title. All right, let's get into some Bowman's Best Baseball from 2019, Bowman's Best. Two autos per mini box.
guys. Juan Soto has like a 20% strikeout rate. Guess you maybe want him to strike out less? But he also had 108 walks last year. <laughs> That's pretty good. To 132 strikeouts. I mean, in this day and age, that's not bad. Strike out 130 times, get walk 108 times. Only three of those were intentional. 20% strikeout rate, maybe you say you cut that down, I suppose. I guess he hit 282 last season. <laughs> maybe you wanted to hit over 300. Yeah, he's only 21. That's ridiculous. As long as he stays healthy, I mean... And Nationals, like, they have money, too. It's not like the Nationals act like a small market team. They can they can pay him. They can keep him around for a long time. That whole core. Trey Turner. Juan Soto. Victor Robles, even. Whoever else is coming up. Wait, what? Oh, Tres Perea? Right. I thought you said Carlos Perea for a second. I was like, what? Yeah, but eventually you'll have... And you got you got Strasburg locked up, too. Eventually, I mean, listen, like Kershaw, Scherzer's getting older. His, his money will be off the books. Zimmerman's money will be off the books. So there'll be some, there'll be some payroll space open. There's Trey Turner right there. There's Juan Soto. We're just talking about you, Juan. And the autograph is Greg Jones for the Tampa Bay Rays. Old Jonesy going to Brandon in Tampa Bay. And we've got Future Foundations. Uh, Andrew Kaisner. Neisner, maybe? Silent K? Yeah. What? Nick swears can go yard on me every pitch. Nice Luis Robert Silver. And there's Alec Baum and Cody Hosey. This could be future Justin Turner right here. Did I pass a trout refractor? It's a franchise favorite. That's not a refractor. Come on, Brandon. Come on, man. All right. Future Foundations die cut Alec Baum for the Phillies. Die cut for Tyler Brenner. The Luis Robert is a refractor. And we've got Will Smith, Justin Verlander, Atomic, and Vlad Guerrero Jr., rookie. All right, next one. And we got Will Wilson, still Angels edition here. That goes to Brandon. Casey, Casey Mize might get called up. I, I, I think thought I read something where, where they may give him a little bit of work. See what they got. Tigers die cut. That's going to go to Asa. More Luis Robert Eloy rookie card. Vlad Jr. rookie card. And what's coming up there? What does that look like? A White Sox maybe. So along with all those Luis Roberts and whatnot, Jimmy Black. We got another great. Prospect coming up the ranks, Andrew Vaughn. Seven out of twenty-five. Man. This team, this team's gonna look real good real fast, ladies and gentlemen. Especially if like guys like Andrew Vaughn are ahead of schedule. Ridiculous. There's Kirsch Refractor, Nixon Zell rookie, Aaron Judge two fifty, Eloy Jimenez die cut, 
rookie die cut. Remember, this is 2019. Man. All sorts of good stuff here. You're, you're welcome, Jimmy Black. All right. Let's finish off the Panini boxes and close with the Tops boxes. 2020 Donner's Optic Baseball Choice Edition. Three autographs in here. Let's see what we got. Everything will ship here, so let's grab that Pete Alonzo, Hollow. There's a Mike Trout All Stars Hollow. The autographs are right here. Let's slide that over. We got Adrian Morejon, Red Dragon Scale for the Padres, 47 out of 88. That'll go to Brandon and the Friars. We've got Lance Lynn, I think, who put a nice start the other day, 42 out of 45. we got Moogie Betts for my Dodgers. That's going to go to Chris Freeze. Red Dragon, 83 out of 99. Green Dragons. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Courtney, 18 out of 84. And Vlad Guerrero Jr., Diamond Kings Green, Dragon Scale, 22 out of 84. The three autographs are going to be Anthony K, rated rookie auto for the Blue Jays. Smokey is saying Blue Jays are coming back. Yeah, 11 9. In the bottom of the seven, they still have runners on second and third with, a, uh, with just one out. Second autograph out of three is O'Neill Cruz, rated prospect autograph for the Pirates, Darren Redding. Three out of 99. And behind Yelich is Alec Baum, nice. We're staying in Pennsylvania. The last two cards here. We're going to Philadelphia now. That'll be for Tyler Brenner and the Phillies. He might be like a couple years away, maybe. 13 out of 49. There you go. And the Yelich is 23 out of 45 for the Brew Crew. Inception. 2018 Inception. Good luck. This was the year they must have screwed up some odds because they put stickers on all of the boxes. There must have been a big big enough typo somewhere. Alright, I think two cards on the bottom and then looks like a patch auto down there. Alright. There's Rizzo to twenty five for the Cubbies. Judge DeYoung, Ian Half, Ichiro. And behind J.P. Crawford is going to be the hit. It's going to be Tyler Wade, 23 out of 25. It's a nice patch in there. Got some lettering. Got a bit of the pinstripe in there, too. Uh, Yankees, Jeremy Port with the Bronx Bombers. And the final one is going to be... 2020 Tops Finest Baseball Flashback Edition Online Exclusive. Hot, hot, hot. Especially if you find this guy right here. Looks like Cubs win 7-2. That was, that was the Cubs at plus 113 on the money line was my biggest play of the day. So that was an important dub for this guy. I've got a tiny bit on the 
on the Marlins, but I needed, I needed to win that Cubs one. What happened? Uh, Teddy was just going over. <laughs> Did Teddy go yard? Teddy went so far. It went on top of the yeah. building, not closest part. Oh this man! Corner next to the house. How? Who was pitching? Nick did. Nick gave up a bomb to Teddy. It was dumb. It literally was. It was still going higher as it passed the gate. There's there's more wiffle balls yeah, in the bag, but wow, you can't give up. You can't give up wiffle homers to... What was he doing? Throwing meatballs? Legitimately. Over the, over the trash cans. You, like, you, gotta, you gotta spin it. Dead center field. You gotta scuff up that wiffle ball too to get some, get some more spin. Can't believe Nick Jaspi gave up a wiffle ball dinger to Ted. All right. Hi, Ray. Do you think you'll get to the Tatum break tonight? Yes, I do. Oh. Now, now, now that the wife sees that there's some decent return to this, she's like, okay, you can keep trying. Yeah, there is. There is some, I mean, uh, ups and downs just like any other market. There's hot and cold streaks just like any other day. All right, good luck, everybody. All right. Trent Grisham, rookie. Jesus Lazardo, Jake Rogers, Gold Max Muncy. The Funky Muncy, 21 out of 50. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Chris Freeze with that one. Got Jordan Alvarez up in the mix there too. We got Lucas Giolito, Garrett Cole, Rosario, Come on, Luis Robert. Oh, there's one right there. And an Eloy Jimenez refractor. There's only one of those refractors per box. What are these going for now? I know when these first were released, they were going for a lot. This is, a, this is 2020, Smokey Brandon, so not a, Tatis will not be a rookie in this one. Nice. And the refractor Eloy Jimenez. Man, that, that's, that's a... They got a pretty great lineup there. There's Nico Horner, rookie. Bubba Starling, that's the name, name of the pug. Name of my pug, Bubba. Old Bubs, old Bubsy. Bubbles, bubble bobble. Javier Baez, seven out of 25. And Glaber Day right here. And there you go. Nico Horner, Cubs, David Baker. You'll get also get the Javier Baez as well. Let's look at the box topper. Then we'll give away the Tatis. And then we'll do a quick recap. It's Masahiro Tanaka. An oversized card right here. Yankees, that'll be for Jeremy Hort. <laughs> the consulate. <laughs> yeah, not a bad break at all. What are we gonna do with this here? We'll just we'll just randomize this to one person and then we'll see we'll see what the team is gonna be. Alright. Do I have a blank list set up? Yes, alright, let's flip back to this screen right here. So Amber 
with the Diamondbacks all the way down to Brandon and the Nationals. Everyone has a shot at this. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two. Name on top after eight times. And we'll use the same dice roll for that uh, for that other card right there. Which will be Reed Detmers and uh, Brandon McKay, I think. Yeah. Both Team USA guys. Bren, not Den, Brendan. Come on, Joe. All right, so once again, six into two, eight times. We'll do this one first. Two, three, seven. And eighth and final time stays with Brendan McCabe. So that's the raise, Brandon. You'll get this uh, this this card right here. It's to nine ninety nine. I don't know where Reed Detmers is, but you'll get it because of Brendan McKay. All right, six and a two, eight times. Name on top gets the Tatis Jr. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time after eight times. Name on top. First off, big thanks. From number two all the way down to 30. I appreciate you getting in. We'll get him next time. And congrats to John McCall. All aboard. It's a one of one. The Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Rookie, Fernando Tatis Jr. There's his auto. There's the one of one. This must have been from, yeah, Panini National exclusive pack right there. Some pretty good stuff. And there you go. What a break. Tony Gonsolin making the start tonight. This card will skyrocket if he throws a no-hitter against the Padres. Unlikely, but you never know. A little Dodger Joe Mojo. Nice Andrew Vaughn. White Sox had a nice break. I think Astros had a decent break, too. There you go. Kirsch. Strasburg was nice. Sam Hilliard. Hunter Green, Dustin May. The Dodgers had a decent break, too. Nice Garrett Cole rookie auto. That was, that was a bit of a surprise. And we, we got all these teams tagged on the back right here. Kind of hard to see those names, right? There we go. Dustin May rookie autograph. Larry Walker, Luis Robert, and Jake Rogers there. And, of course, that was the giveaway, plus a ton of other parallels and short prints and whatnot that we've set aside. Excellent break, everybody. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting to Jaspi's 12-box Phenom Baseball Mixer. From jazbeescasebreaks.com, I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.